they're confused. They're like, what's going on? Okay. How many goats can you fit into a stall? <laughs> Get in, mommy. <laughs> in the middle. I um, sit in the middle. Benjamin's out here playing with or bossing middle. around his I'm aunt Jolie. <laughs> I'm holding a rope and trying to wrap you guys around. Oh, so we sit in the middle. Mom, you have to touch me. I have to touch you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wiped out. <laughs> <laughs> Goodness, goats. This is the waiting room for the doctor's office. Did you put any magazines in there for them? So today is goat maintenance day, um, more or less. Basically, goats have to have copper uh, called copper boluses if you live in an area where they aren't getting enough copper in their feed and hay and we do and so they have to have copper every six months and Maya has put all the goats in this stall where he will take them out one at a time and give them their copper check them to make sure that they don't need to be dewormed we do use chemical dewormers we do not do everything herbally for our goats uh, they all came from chemically dependent herds so um, transitioning off of that can be really difficult and so we've just kind of stuck with it however we do th things as needed as far as the chemical dewormers rather than doing them on a schedule we just kind of check for symptoms and if we see any issues and we do the dewormer then so that's kind of what he's doing now goat maintenance checking each one of them out and doing whatever it is they need we may have some pregnant goats we actually were not intending on breeding however we had a buckling it was born in january yeah don't let go <laughs> jolie's getting a little goat wrangling in. <laughs> everyone who comes over gets wrangled into the goat wrangling hey this used to be a three-person job a three-person job it took me, you, and Daniel last time. Nope, you're getting good. Well, we had a buck, buckling, that was born in January. It's actually Nestle's boy. And we yeah, sent him to his yeah. new home on May the 15th. At our friend Jessica and her husband, who uh, they work at Baker Creek, came down from Missouri and got him. And I thought that that was fine. Um, he was, at that point, showing some signs of maturity and interest in the does but i thought we got him out of here until he was still just like finishing up nursing he was four months old and um i don't know that that was early enough because clover's udder is definitely getting bigger she's looking big a couple of them are looking big and at this point i'm just trying to decide if we need to go ahead and do a blood test or just kind of wait and see but i think i i think we have some pregnant goats. What do y'all think? Here's Clover. She was the one who kind of tipped me off to it because as you can see, she's definitely looking a little on the pregnant side. Now with goats, left is lunch and right is baby. So it's the bulge on the right side you're looking for, but her udder started to look like it was filling back up. Charity's the other one that I was thinking maybe she is really hard to keep weight on so for her to be like getting bigger like this is really uh unlike her hey you want to go introduce jolie to the alpacas yeah that girl definitely looks pregnant she is looking wide benjamin peter you're a farm boy if i've ever seen one hey nanny No, I'm giving him some space. Tender's talking to you. Look at him. Tender said, hey, Ben. <laughs> Let you touch him, huh? Say, hey, Stogie. Say hi to Bill. Was he starting to spit at me? No, he was just sneezing, I think. I like the 
I'm still learning. <laughs> but it slow. Slow? <laughs> I went too fast. <laughs> <I Just>. <laughs> <laughs> Don't they feel like carpet? Yeah. Right, that's what they feel like to me. Like really soft, I nice that carpet. One. I'm gonna have that one first. You wanna oh, you wanna have his fiber? Benjamin is planning out a blanket with his favorite alpaca's fibers. Aww. And so he can tell you which ones are gonna be a part of his blanket. Look at Bill, look at majestic. Majestically backlit. Hey guys, bye boys. Bear's like, where are my snuggles? <laughs> Oh ladies, y'all feeling better now that you had your copper? Everybody set up. So Jolie is married to Jeremiah's younger brother Elijah, which you guys have met Elijah before. Not a lot, because he enlisted in the Navy, I guess it's been about a year and a half ago, and he hasn't been around here much since then. But she just came back to visit from Virginia and we're really excited to have her here at the farm today. And I'm glad to get to introduce her to you guys. <laughs> to here. Put her put her on the spot, put her on camera. <laughs> Is this your first time to go around the farm? Yes. Yes. What are your thoughts? Your favorite animals? Love the alpacas. You like the alpacas? Yes. And I think you made a goat friend. Yes. Nestle has followed you around every okay. time she had a chance. Nestle is one of my favorite girls and so she's not like that with everybody but sometimes I guess some people she just warms up to. She's a sweet girl. Oh where'd Benny go? What are you doing Gabe? What are you doing Gabriel? So I'm just sitting here talking to Jolie in the pavilion and look over and see these guys just hanging there. Now I know I've talked to you guys a lot this year about how to get rid of tomato hornworms which is by using a black light at night and that is my favorite way but occasionally I'll just see one and go grab it. They are really interesting looking little critters though. Somebody told me that you can sell these to pet stores because people will buy them for uh, bearded dragons or something. I'm not a weird little critter. Bad day for the tomato hornworm, good day for the chickens. There are so many cherry tomatoes to pick. So many. Hey guys, what's up? <laughs> I went down to the basement yesterday, got all the seeds out that I'm gonna start for the fall garden. I'm gonna be sharing that with you guys later. Um, I have a lot of stuff to start and uh, I guess planning, I don't know. I, generally the fall garden, it's not so much a planned thing, it's just you come in and just plug in all the spaces, which are actually going to be uh, quite a few this year since I had so many failed plants. This has been a hard gardening year. I don't know exactly when that process is gonna be. Over the course of the next couple weeks, I'm gonna be getting everything going, uh, starting the brassicas and the lettuces and stuff inside underneath my grow lights that I'm going to start and I will absolutely share that process with you. Um, here it's about time now. I'm out of town this weekend but um, next week at the latest is when I'm going to be getting all that stuff together and I will absolutely share it with you. I've had several people ask about it. Speaking of going out of town uh, that's going to be really exciting. We're actually going to Doug and Stacy's Life Conference in Hannibal, Missouri and we are really excited to be able to meet all of you guys. Um, we've had several of you message us after hearing us talk about that and tell us that you're going. So that is gonna be really, really cool. We love every opportunity that we get to get to spend time with our viewers, to meet you and hear your stories and just hug you because you guys are precious to us. There are snake beans. Um, and that's definitely the snake bean trellis. So they made their way over here onto this trellis of dying cucumbers. Wow, look at this amaranth. It's completely all laid out here. And here next to it, my cucumelons are finally starting to take off. They'll be a little late this year, but they still have plenty of time. Bear, what is that? 
What is that? Bear, what is it? Bear, what do you hear? <gasps> what is it? <laughs> hey, it's okay. It's okay. You don't like it. <laughs> He's like, what is that? And one wonderful thing that happened while we were on vacation uh, was that Jeremiah actually had enough time to stop working on projects and learn to dr fly his drone. Uh, we have had it for a little while now and we've been really wanting to share some aerial footage of our garden. Several of you have asked that and uh, now we get to. So without further ado, uh, here is the garden, as you've never seen it before. Thank you guys for hanging out with us today. I bless you. Until next time.